Yeah. I'll be up. Good morning, Dad. Morning, Max. Hey, Bongo. Dear Max, you missed a killer fucking show last night. I wish you could have been there. You would have loved it. You missed their killer set at the old mill last night. Here's Outcast, the latest hit from Firewall. breakfast in 10 20 minutes ago, young lady. I'm pretty sure you would have been revolted by my presence if I hadn't showered, old lady. And where, might I ask, were you last night? Uh, Steph. I was with Steph. Ah, oh, yes, your friend Steph. Interesting, since I've never heard of Steph before this moment. Hmm. That is interesting. You'd think you'd be keeping better track of my social circle, what with my being a troubled child and all. So the concert tickets I found on your computer had nothing to do with you being gone last night. You went through my fucking internet history? I didn't have to. You left the page open on your desktop. I have asked you time and again not to lie to me, Chloe. Yeah? Well, you know what, Mom? I've asked you time and time again to respect my privacy, but I don't see much of that happening. How about this? When you start respecting my rules, I'll start respecting your privacy. Deal? Hmm. Nope. What's it going to take, Chloe? What is it going to take to make you happy? Well... You could try dumping your fascist boyfriend. That'd certainly be the step in the right direction. Chloe! <laughs> you do know I hate him with every fiber of my being, right? This has nothing to do with David. <laughs> this has everything to do with David. Ever since you started bringing him around, nothing has been the same. He's a misogynistic asshole, frankly, and he treats me like trash. He treats you like you treat him! I cannot believe you're defending him! I am not defending him, Chloe! But you can't expect a relationship to change if all you're going to do is butt heads with him! There is no relationship, Mom! He is nothing to me. He's not my friend, he's not my caregiver, and he's certainly not my fucking father. He's a good man, Chloe. Dad was a good man. You know what? All of a sudden, I'm not feeling that hungry. What do you want from me, Chloe? Can't you see I'm trying? Mom, it's fine. David has to take you to school today. I would, but I have to go into work early. He'll be here in a minute. 
I don't want to ride to school with Sergeant Fuckface. I'll wait on the porch. I'm sorry, Mom. Actions speak louder than words, Chloe. <sighs> William. What have I done now? <laughs> okay, wise ass. <laughs> I miss you too. So are you coming, or what? Can't wait. You know, I'll say this. For a douche, you know how to pick a car. Will you just get in the truck and drop the attitude? My attitude is what makes me special, David. Besides, that was supposed to be a compliment. Look, Chloe, we don't have to like each other, but I love your mom, and all she wants is for the two of us to get along. Can't always get what you want. Why do you insist on hating me? Because you're a condescending douche nozzle who thinks the fact that you served in the military for like a year qualifies you for sainthood, David. Well, maybe a year or two in the service would do you some good, Chloe. <laughs> Teach you a thing or two about discipline. I don't need a gun or a uniform to make me feel like a man. You are so goddamn disrespectful. You haven't earned my respect. If you were a man, I swear <laughs> to God, I'd... Don't worry, David. If you were a man, I'd be a lot harder on you, too. I don't even know why I bother. Where are we going, Dad? I thought you knew by now, sweetie. Dad, stop the car. Ah, we can make it. Dad, there's not enough time. Stop the car. Can't do it, sweetie. Dad, please! Chloe. Chloe. Chloe! We're here. Chloe. Just think about what I said. Please. For your mom. Fine. Hello, Black Hell. I've got meetings, Nathan. I know, Dad. Just give me a second. Let me give you some advice, son. All those people out there, the vast majority of them will never be like us. There's no point in worrying about what they think of you. They hate me, Dad. Who cares? I do. Then stop. You're Prescott. You're going to be something someday. They're not. They need to adjust to that reality, and so do you. I gotta go, son. I'm sorry. Fuck him dead, huh? Yeah. They hate you too, you know.
You go on Twitch? Not today, Drew, please. Every day. Oh, sweet. Hey, everybody! That Prescott kid is about to get his ass kicked again! Or I'll fucking kill you. Uh. Boom! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Twitch? Get your millionaire daddy to fuck up my life? What could he possibly do that he hasn't already done? My dad lost his fucking job because you're greedy ass family. What kind of fucked up shit is this anyway? It's art. It's trash. See? You wanna be one of us. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's way. You don't get to do psycho shit like this. Fuck you. Oh. 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 Randy Prescott isn't gonna show you how the world works. Someone's got to. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's Stoner Girl. We got a light, right? Oh. Oh. Where's the lighter? Where's the lighter? Come on. Not for you. Oh. 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 Come on, you gonna stand up for this little freak? <laughs> I guess. Cause I am definitely not letting you use my lighter to burn his photos. Alright, then. Someone else? Why can't you leave him alone, huh? Why do you have to be so cruel? Sam, stop. Well, would you look at that? Twitch got himself a little girlfriend. <laughs> what do you do? Buy you a car or something? There's no way you just like him. <laughs> yeah, I do. Maybe you would too if you actually got to know him. His dad is an asshole, and he knows that. How is that his fault? You should be ashamed of yourself, Drew North. All of you should. It got kind of bad. I just need your help, Sam. I just thought... Thought you'd embarrass me in front of the entire school? If my dad hears that you saved me from a bully, I didn't know. Would you just... Fuck off. Thanks for not giving Drew that lighter. Those pictures mean everything to Nathan. Yeah. Don't mention it. Hey, can I ask you something? Why do you stick up for him when he treats you like that? Can we talk outside? Okay, so we were friends once when we were little and I had the biggest crush on him. But lately he's been having issues. He gets night terrors. Sometimes it even seems like he hears things, voices, but his dad refuses to get him help because he doesn't want to damage the Prescott name. I'm just trying to be there for him, you know? Yeah, I do. That's good of you. Just be careful, okay? I can handle myself. Blackwell thespians? Gag. Chloe Price. You're just the girl I'm looking for. Uh, I am? Uh-huh. Come on. So I know that we said we were going to put the Forest of Death here, but is that a little too close to the Nathan Prescott monster? It might be. 
I guess, I don't, it's already in permanent marker, so can we really change it? I don't know, I mean, instead of the forest of death, we could make it the forest of perpetual angst. After you. Uh, thanks. Oh, hey, Chloe. You must be Rachel's chosen one. Hey, Mikey, and... Yeah, I guess. Chloe! Yeah, Rachel's been telling us all about her plans for today. She specifically mentioned you. She did? Perhaps she did. Mikey, you're gonna have to storm the Palace of Nazareth without me today. Chloe and I have plans. How are we supposed to win without your sorceress? Oh, you're not. Even she couldn't save you from what I have waiting in that castle. She's gonna ruin me. Then maybe just take a break till I get back. Go see what your brother's up to. <laughs> Probably dunking that Prescott kid's head into a toilet or something. What? I saw your brother like five minutes ago. He was trying to burn Nathan Prescott's photo portfolio. I think he blames him for... For her dad losing his job. I'll, I'll go talk to him. Drew's not a bad guy, he's just mad. Our dad got a bad deal from Mr. P and that's no reason to take it out on Nathan. Steph, I'm sorry. Can we finish the campaign later? I'm sure the Dark Lord won't mind waiting a few hours. Thanks. Bye guys. I'll text you later. It was nice seeing you, Chloe. Bye. Bye. So, I know we have some classes together, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Steph. Chloe. Steph, Mikey, and I like to get together between rehearsals and play some D&D. &D. You should join us sometime, Chloe. <laughs> Rach, no offense to Chloe or anything, but she doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy tabletop games. Actually, I kind of love them. I had this friend once, and she and I used to play them all the time, but... Uh, then she moved. Well, uh, I guess I'll be on my way. Uh, we've got 30 hours until showtime, and I'm sure my services as stage manager will be in high demand. Best of luck, Steph. I'm gonna go change, and then we roll. Sounds good? Uh, sure. She really likes you. Like, like likes you. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't know much about that. Uh, we've only hung out once at like a concert. You okay, Steph? Yeah, I just, um, Rachel is kind of special to me. I guess I just always thought she and I might. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. How would you? Um, it's not your fault. It's no one's fault except mine. Maybe um, no one wants to date the nerdy tech girl, right? Hey, nerdy tech girl falls way higher than angsty stoner bitch on the social hierarchy, so don't lose hope. Thanks, Chloe. Hey, Chloe, can I get you up with something over here? Yeah, I'll be right there. I guess that's my cue. Your sorceress sweets. You're a lucky girl, Chloe Price. Well, that's a sentence you've never heard before. Chloe can- Oh! I didn't realize you were still in here. Uh, can you get my belt for me? It's in my backpack over there. Uh, yeah, of course. Thanks. Okay. You're just getting Rachel her belt. You couldn't possibly fuck this up. Just get the belt, bring it to Rachel, and, I don't know, try not to fall down? Got it! Thanks, could you bring it over here? I'm almost ready. Uh, yeah. 
Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, anytime. Uh, uh, I'll just be out here. <sighs> well done, Chloe. Fucking nailed it. All you had to do is bring Rachel her belt. It really wasn't that hard. I mean, I thought you killed it. Uh, I was just... <sighs> Chastising yourself? Yeah. Yeah, that. You're cute, Chloe Price. <sighs> Uh, you are too. Cute. I mean, you're cute too. Mind if I just go hang myself real quick? You're probably wondering what the fuck you're doing here, huh? I mean, yeah. I'm more of a go with the flow kind of girl, but... As I'm sure Steph already blurted out, I've been admiring you from afar for quite some time now. Okay. Go on. I have a plan. It involves skipping school and spying on a high-ranking political official. And just like any other great criminal enterprise, I require an assistant. And I was hoping that maybe it would be you. Uh, I'd love to. May I ask one question, though? You may. Why me? Why not? Okay, but you don't know me. How do you even know you'll like me? I don't. That's why I'm inviting you on my little non-sanctioned field trip. It'll give us a chance to get to know each other better without the entirety of Blackwell Academy breathing down our necks. Follow me. Oh, by the gods, save us. Well, I'll be damned. Rachel Amber and Carly Price. Who would have thought? It's Chloe. Sure. We have somewhere to be. Of course. It'd be a shame if someone were to report you to Principal Wells. What with your starring role in the school play tomorrow night, and the strict no-tolerance policy for leaving campus during school hours. You do realize that the understudy is not just supposed to actively sabotage the star of the play. I got the part, and you didn't get over it. Oh, I bet being the DA's daughter gets you all sorts of things you don't deserve. I don't get any! All right, listen, queen bitch. Why don't you just go fuck off and find someone else's business to get into, huh? I'm sure Nathan Prescott could use an ego stroking right about now. Or is it too awkward to chum it with your sugar daddy's son? <laughs> You're disgusting. At least Nathan has a father, so he could avoid being a malnourished, friendless, drug-addled failure like you. Don't you? ever mention my dad again, or I swear to God, you'll regret it. Was that a threat? No, it was a warning. Come on, Rachel. Say hi to Mr. Prescott for us. Have fun on your field trip, bitches. Sorry, I kind of freaked out on Victoria back there. Are you kidding me? She was way out of line. I was this close to punching her. <laughs> Damn, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> you would? Fuck yeah. That'd be like, like seeing a unicorn or, or a pirate ship that flies or some shit. <sighs> yeah, I guess that'd be pretty sick, huh? So you're probably wondering where we're going. I mean, the thought occurred, yeah. We're going to the Overlook, just outside of town. The Overlook? Isn't that like a 20 minute drive? Uh, yeah. Which means we're gonna have to catch a ride. Oh, so we're hitchhiking now. We will be fine. We have each other.
Here, we got one here. Holy shit! What? I know that bus! No, I got this, I got this. Hey! Hey! This is not proper hitchhiking procedure. Wait! What the hell are you doing here? Frank! Hi! We need a ride! <laughs> you fuck Bryce! Oh! I'll owe you! Okay? You need something done, I'll do it. Just get us to Overlook Park. You already owe me $150, if I recall. But... <sighs> I may have a job for you. I can take you and your friend as far as American Rust Junkyard. Gotta go there for a business meeting. After that, it's only a quarter mile to Overlook. Perfect, you kick ass, Frank. Ah, uh, wait. First, we have some business to attend to. Do you live here, Frank? Yeah. Say that it's uh, easier to get around. It's good for business, you know? What's your business? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Frank's a drug dealer. What the fuck, Bryce? Uh, what? That's James Amber's daughter, right? And? It's in James Amber, the goddamn district attorney. All right, I get it. Trust me, Frank. I truly could give less of a shit about my father's work. Yeah, I'm sure. The loose lips sink ships, you know? You mean to go plug my ears in the back while you guys discuss... Whatever the fuck you guys need to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. It'll only take a second. Let's go talk. So you know Drew North? Uh, yeah. Big guy, football player, likes to beat up rich kids. Yeah, but do you know him? Do you talk to him? Uh, no, not really. Damon had Drew run an oxy at Blackwell. Last month the payments stopped coming in, and now he owes him big time. Somebody's gotta collect. I can't step foot on campus without getting eyes on me. But you could. I need you to go to Drew's dorm room, get the money, and bring it to me. Okay. Who's Damon, and why does he have Drew North dealing for him? Damon Merrick. He's an old friend of mine. The guy makes me look like a saint, you know? Anyways, Drew's dad's been out of work, down on his luck. I guess the kid thought that he could bring in some cash. Anyways, they started arguing over Drew's cut, and now everything's fucked. I have to get that money before Damon decides to collect. Understand? You think Damon would hurt Drew? I know he would. Will, in fact. Drew's gonna have a hell of a time playing football with two busted kneecaps. Okay. I'll get the money. Tomorrow. Then you and I are square, yeah? Yeah. And get in. Make sure you wait for my signal. Don't let him see you. You wouldn't take too kindly me associating with the likes of her. Okay, Frank. But we're totally peeking out the window, right? Obviously. <laughs> Howard. 
Where the fuck have you been? Where's the kid? In the car, hiding like a little bitch. Get the fuck out of here, kid! Did you bring it? You think I tried to fuck you over? Hey, maybe. And what the fuck would you do about it? <laughs> Come on, kid, let's take a walk. We'll try out your new toy. Frank, wait here. I want to have a chat with our new friend. Mission, Agent Price. Turns out excessive cigarette smoking is not conducive to surveillance. Agent Amber. You want a breather? Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so should I ask the obvious question, or would you like to? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> <sighs> Why is Nathan Prescott meeting up with a drug lord in the junkyard? <laughs> Better question, how the fuck does Arcadia Bay have a drug lord? Like, <laughs> did you see that guy? He was terrifying. Terrifying! <laughs> I think it's time for us to get to know each other a little bit better. I thought secret agents were never allowed to get things too personal. <laughs> and is that what you want, Chloe Price? For things to not get too personal? Mm, no, uh, that's definitely not what I want. Then we're gonna play a game. What kind of game? A uh, getting to know you kind of game. Have you played Two Truths and a Lie? Yes, I was in junior high school at one point. Then you know the rules already. I'm gonna say three things. Two of them are gonna be the truth, and one of them is a lie. And it's up to you to figure out which is which. Okay. You go first. I'm still recuperating. <laughs> All right. Number one, I was born in New York City land of glitter and gunshots. And Broadway, of course. Okay. Number two, I am ambidextrous. And finally, I am a Leo. Okay. <laughs> so, you're born in New York. Mm -hmm. You're ambidextrous. And you're a Leo. Correct. I'm officially calling bullshit on a land of glitter and gunshots. <laughs> oh? Yeah, you seem more like a California girl to me. Well, apparently, you see right through me, Chloe Price. I was born in San Francisco, but then we moved up to LA. And then we moved here when my dad got a job at a local law firm. And been here ever since. Do you like it here? It's okay, but it's small. I really miss the city sometimes. And you can't beat Los Angeles. It's just the land of film and art and culture. I think you'd like it. Maybe we can go there someday. Like, just us? Yeah. I'd like that. It's your turn. Oh. Right. Fuck. <laughs> uh, um. Uh. Okay. First one. I once broke my wrist in the second grade, punching a girl. Why did you hit her? 
She stole my Yoohoo during lunch hour. All right. Respect. And your second? The sound of country music makes me physically ill. Oh no. Oh yeah. So why do you like country music? I despise it, but it doesn't make me physically sick. Understandable, I guess. I was a huge nerd growing up. I loved math and science and all that shit. I was even considered gifted, believe it or not. Why wouldn't I believe that? I don't know. Because I'm me. Well, your self-deprecation leads me to believe that that one is the truth. May I ask why country music make you so nauseous? My dad used to listen to it in the car. He died in a car accident. So. And then I'm gonna say that one's the truth. I don't think you'd lie about your dad. I wouldn't. Which brings me to the Yoohoo incident. Now, punching a girl over stealing your Yoohoo is totally justifiable. Bitch steal your Yoohoo, bitch gotta get got. <laughs> but I don't think you broke your wrist doing it. And here I thought I was mysterious. <laughs> Not to me. Rachel, can I ask you a question? Yeah, we have some time. You're amazing. You're like the most popular girl at Blackwell. Everyone's your friend, or wants to be. Why the fuck would you give me the time of day? Let alone have a crush on me. Everyone thinks that when you're popular, you have hundreds of friends. But that's not reality. The reality is I have almost no friends. But you're different. You manage to exist without dealing with all of the high school bullshit. You're above it all. And I admire that. You're just you. Do you wear masks? I'm an actress, Chloe. What do you think? Are you wearing one right now? I'm glad. Okay, they're gonna be here soon. We gotta go! Uh, okay. Who? Rachel! Rachel, what are we doing? Rachel! Who is that Shh. woman? Rachel. Rachel? Oh, shit.
Rachel, will you please stop? Rachel, wait! That was your dad back there, wasn't it? How would you know? He's a DA, Rachel. I've seen him on the news. Yeah, that was my dad. And that woman he was with was not my mom. <sighs> I saw a text on his phone a couple nights ago asking him to meet someone out here and I was hoping. Rachel, I don't want to talk about it. Go back to the junkyard. All right. Rachel. Rachel, wait. What? Look what? at this place. It's great. It's a literal pile of garbage, Chloe. Come on, let's explore. Chloe, I just want to be left alone for a second. Is that too much to ask? Uh, no. No, of course not. I'll just, uh... Chloe, will you just go away for a second? Please. All right. Fine. Actually, you know what? No, not fine. What the hell, huh? I thought we were having a great day. Oh, forgive me if watching my dad make out with someone who is not my mother ruined the mood a little bit. All right. I get that, I do, but why the fuck are you taking it out on me? How the fuck am I taking it out on you? You've been treating me like shit ever since it happened. Look, Rachel, I'm sorry your dad is an asshole, but I have news for you. Everyone is. I'm sorry you're just finding out about this now, but some of us have known for a long damn time. Oh, that is such cliche whiny bullshit. I get it. You're so fucking damaged. But can you drop the persona for a second? It's getting annoying. Excuse me? You have no idea what it's like to wake up in the morning and think everything is fine before it hits you all at once that your entire life is shit and nobody cares and you're alone. This isn't a persona, Rachel. This isn't an act. This is me. I know you're the school princess and all with your perfect grades and your perfect life and your perfect everything, but seriously, fuck you. Fine, Chloe. Fuck you too. Wait! Fuck. I'm sorry. I say things I don't mean. I get angry. I don't want to fuck this up like I fuck up everything else in my life. And fuck, 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 see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chloe. I really am. I meant everything that I said earlier. And I thought that having you here with me would make this easier, but I, I was wrong. No, I can't. Uh, oh, I can't. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, not now, not today. I need to go see if my dad is there. And I need you to not follow me. Don't go. Please. Fuck. 
this place. Dear Max, how does it feel to know you left me in this shitty, awful hellhole of a town? Glad all our time together meant fuck all to you! God damn it, Max! Dad. Sweetie, I didn't see you there. You want to go for a ride with your old man? Uh, yeah. Sure, Dad. Dad, what is this? A joyride, sweetie. That's all any of this is. A joyride. And you know what the worst part about a joyride is, don't you? No, I don't. It has to come to an end, sweetie. And it will. Sooner than you want it to. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy it. I don't understand. It's beautiful. It is. But beauty can blind you. <sighs> beautiful, isn't it? It's terrifying. Exactly. What are you trying to tell me, Dad? Who knows, kiddo? There's my ride. No, Dad. Please stay. I can't, Chloe. You know that. Then at least let me out. Please. Oh, sweetie, don't kid yourself. 
I'm not the one keeping you here. You've been stuck inside this car with me since the day I died. I didn't think you'd come out here. I, uh... Didn't like the way we left things. Neither did I. What's that? It's a picture of my dad and I, the day I got accepted into Blackwell. I carry it with me everywhere. He was so proud of me that day. I mean, my mom was proud too, but my dad is so much harder to impress. And I'd never seen him smile like that. Oh, it's hard to imagine that this whole thing has just been a lie. That he's just been playing us, my mom and I. How do I get past this, Chloe? I feel like... I feel just dead. Yeah. When... When my dad died, it felt like the piece of me that he had with him died too. And I still see that part of me in my dreams, but she's as dead as he is. And now, look at me. Maybe some people are meant to be ghosts, Rachel. Maybe that's how it is. You don't feel like a ghost. You feel alive. Warm and vibrant and alive. Like... Do you have your lighter on you? Yeah. to worry about that. David, she's here. He's been waiting in the kitchen in the event you tried to sneak in the front door. I insisted on waiting here. Mother's intuition, I suppose. Mom, I... Do you two have any idea how much worry you've put us through today? We got a call from the school this morning. A student reported you sneaking off sometime after first period. We have waited for 15 hours. Mm -hmm. We've spent the last 15 hours not knowing where in the hell you've um, been. Mrs. Price, I'm Rachel. I'm I know Amber. perfectly well who you are, Miss Amber. Your mother and I have been on and off the phone together all day. And to reassure her that you hadn't been kidnapped. 
fortunately, after I shared a little bit of Chloe's history with rule breaking, it was more believable. Mom, I'm sorry. Oh, Chloe, stop. Just stop. I don't want to hear the lie anymore. I heard it at breakfast, too, and I didn't believe it then, either. If you would just let me explain. Oh, you'll have plenty of time to explain. There's going to be a disciplinary meeting in the morning with Principal Wells to discuss your futures at the academy. He's gonna expel us. No, maybe. Mm. I wouldn't blame him. Now, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Oh, that fear you're feeling right now. It's just a fraction of what your parents have been going through all day. She's had a hard day, Mom. Oh, has she? My apologies. I didn't take her feelings into consideration. Can you send David out of here, please? I'm home now. He doesn't need to be here. Oh, yeah? Maybe I do, Chloe. If this is the way you're going to treat your mother, then maybe this house needs someone with a stronger hand. We don't need anything from you. You hear me? You're nothing. You're just some guy my mom's screwing so she can forget about my dad. Chloe! How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? How dare you come into this house and pretend to be a sick replacement for my dad? How dare you lie in their bed that they shared together for 15 years? You look shit! You <sighs> well, do you feel strong? Do you feel like a man now? Nothing? Huh? Not a word? Yeah, okay. Think we can stay at your place? Yeah. Let's get yeah. the fuck out of this hellhole. Joyce, I... Don't, David. Just don't. I started a forest fire. Good. I hope it burns the whole town to the ground. Smell like a bonfire. <laughs> you smell like anger and nicotine and sweat. <laughs> so I stink then. <laughs> yeah. I like it though. Chloe Price, this has been the most insane day and night of my entire life. My whole world has gone straight to shit. And still, when I look at you, I feel safe. Rachel, I... Fuck. I can't say it. I think I know what you were gonna say. Is that close? Yeah. Hey, um, uh, Mom! Sorry, oh, Mom. I'm so sorry. I am oh, darling, so sorry it. about I last night. I was 16 night. once too. I'm just glad you're all right. Your father, he wants me to put you two through the ringer. So look shell-shocked, all right? It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> You must be Chloe Price. Uh, I must be. 
I've heard a lot about you in the last 16 hours. None of it very good. I can imagine. The meeting with Principal Wells is in three hours. We may as well have breakfast beforehand. Chloe, will you be staying? Uh, yeah. She'll be staying. Of course she will. Leave the door open, please. Yeah? Oh! We'll leave the nerf that good for nothing fuck face. Rachel! He glared down at you like you were some second-class citizen? Rachel. Oh, he does not deserve my mother. I can fucking tell you that right now, that elitist prick son Rachel! What? Don't worry about your dad, okay? I'm used to it. We just have to survive this morning, and then after the meeting with Principal Wells, we can blow this town. No, I can't. I have the play tonight. <laughs> Who cares about the play? I do. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I get it. We have bigger problems right now. But... <sighs> that play means everything to me. And I can't miss it. Not for anything, but... After the play... <sighs> my parents will think I'll be at the cast party. And that lasts all night. <laughs> They're not gonna, like around you for what happened yesterday? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> my dad likes to act like he's tough, but my mom has got him wrapped around her finger. He would never. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's not entirely true. Huh. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, they'll think that I would be at the cast party all night, and they wouldn't know to start looking until the morning. <laughs> and by then, we could be halfway to LA. You're serious? Hella serious. Hella? Uh, it's a Cali thing. Hmm. I like it. You do? So you're in? Hella yes. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. What? I said breakfast is ready. Well, you're a light sleeper. Do you have nightmares a lot? Yeah. I'm having one right now. It's just breakfast. How bad could it be? So, Chloe. Since you and Rachel have obviously gotten close, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I grew up here in Arcadia Bay. Um, my dad died two years ago, so that blows. Um, uh, I like to draw. Sometimes I tag things. Tag? She means graffiti. Uh, only on my own shit, uh, stuff. Language, please. She corrected herself, Dad. She still said it. At least she is capable of admitting her mistakes, Dad. What exactly does that mean? I think you know exactly what I mean, James. Oh, golly nuggets. 
I seem to have lost my fork. Rachel, would you want to help me? What the hell are you doing, huh? You're supposed to be an actress. It doesn't apply in this situation. Oh, of course it applies in this situation. Excuse me, can you two stop whispering to one another under the table? Uh, <laughs> Rachel, what the hell is going on? We were just... I was speaking to my daughter. James, there's no call for that tone. Excuse me? You snapped at poor Chloe when all she was trying to do was explain herself. Poor Chloe? Are, James. are you serious? No, I'm sorry, but no. Poor Chloe is the one who convinced our daughter to skip school yesterday. She didn't convince me to do anything. Don't defend her. I have eyes. I can see what's going on, and I know what kind of person she is. And what am I? You're a delinquent. Is that so? Yes, that is so. You are a delinquent. You're a broken girl from a broken home, and you have no idea what a functioning family unit is. You have no guidance, and so you lash out at everyone and everything, and you destroy everything in your path because that is what people like you do, Chloe. People like me? People like you. You don't even know who I, I know, am. I know. You don't even know my family. You. Know you know nothing about what I've missing, gone through. Absent, oh, no yeah, one. my There's dad? No you want to bring up my dad, dad? Mind. Really? That's, exactly. that's, and that's most your... unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Now you're a lost soul, and so you're My mom works 60 hours a week exactly. to take care of me. You don't even know her. What the hell has gotten into you? We saw you! You lying, cheating motherfucking son of a bitch! We saw you! We saw you at Overlook Park, kissing that woman. James? I'm sorry, Mom. That's true. Rachel. Chloe. I don't know what you two think that you saw in Think we saw? Don't gaslight us. We both saw you, clear as day, making out with a woman in white. Please. Please stop lying. Just stop being a politician for one fucking second. Please just be my father. Rachel, that woman in white, her name is Sarah, and she's not my mistress. She's your mother. Chloe, if you could give us a minute. She stays. All right. Sarah Gearhart and I met when we were in high school. She was beautiful, popular, the girl all the guys wanted to be with, and I didn't think she'd ever glance my way, but then, then she did. And I had no illusions. I knew what she was. I knew she was wild, insatiable. She wanted everything that the world had to offer and more. And I, foolishly, thought that I would be enough for her. And for a while, I guess I was. We got married right after graduation. Had you the next year. And you were everything. To me, at least. But Sarah saw you as a burden. And she fell deeper and deeper into herself, and I tried to catch her, but somehow I slipped. And then, one day I came home to find her on the floor overdosing. And you were in your crib, crying, shrieking. And so I did what I had to do. And what was that? I took you and I left. I 
I called the ambulance, of course, but I had to stay around to greet it. And then I contacted her the next month and I told her to stay away from you, more importantly than me. And in exchange, I would provide certain compensation. Compensation? $2,500 a month for the last 16 years. If you do the math, that's almost half a million dollars. Rachel, your father loves you. I love you. We only hid the truth from you to protect you. If I wouldn't have seen you under that tree, would you have told me? No. I want to meet her. Rachel. I have a right to meet her. She's gone, Rachel. No. She wanted to see me. She obviously did. She did, but I told her that she wasn't going to be allowed to and that she needed to leave Arcadia Bay. No. You lied to me for my entire life, and you expect me to just forgive you for that? Maybe not, but I want you to consider something, Rachel. For the last 16 years, Sarah has chosen that money over you. Okay, she threw away her chance at being a mother. What kind of person does that make her? I don't know. I guess I'll have to ask her myself. I have to go talk to her. There's something I need you to do for me. Is this the part where you try to get me to manipulate your daughter into seeing things your way? This is the part where I ask you to please keep her best interests at heart. I will. to find her, Chloe. We have to. I have to see her. What if it's like James said? What if she doesn't want to talk to us? I'd rather live a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. Will you help me? Of course I will. I always love the stars. They make me feel home. Are you an alien, Rachel Amber? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I am painfully, dreadfully human. But that doesn't mean I don't feel at home with them. Stars are ghosts too, you know? Most of them are already dead. Lucky them. Hey, which one of us just found out her entire life was a lie? I'm the one allowed to make sad comments. Fair. Can I come in? Yeah. It's 6.45. Our meeting's at 7, so... We'll be out in a second, Mom. Mom? Yes? I forgive you. And your father? I'm sorry to hear that. Wanna go get expelled? Hello, yes. So, 
Where's the mustache? I told David to stay at home. So you're not breaking up with him then? Smacking me across the face wasn't the line. This isn't the time, Chloe. You all can come in. Thank you for joining me this morning. I assume you both know why you're here. Principal Wells, I A simple yes or no will suffice, Miss Amber. There is no more grievous breach of the Blackwell Code of Conduct than leaving school grounds without permission. You've placed this institution at risk. More importantly, you've placed yourselves at risk. I have grounds to expel you both. Do you understand that? Yes. Sure. Sure? Yes. All right. We get it. We messed up. We're sorry. Sorry will not cut it this time, I'm afraid. I assume the three of you have had a long and serious talk with your children. Mrs. Price, I have to address the fact that this is not the first time we found ourselves in this position. No, Principal Wells, and I'm sorry for that. I've been trying to impress upon Chloe the importance of excelling in school. And yet here we sit. Hey, you don't get to scold my mom. Chloe. No, mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna sit here and listen to him talk down to you. My mom works 60 hours a week putting food on the table for me. My fuck ups, it's Chloe. My mistakes are my own. I take full responsibility. That's admirable, Chloe. I apologize. I should not have brought your parenting into question. This is about Chloe. Whose idea was it to leave school yesterday? It was mine. I have to admit, I find that very hard to believe given Chloe's disciplinary record. It's true. I wanted to go to the park. Chloe tried to stop me. I've been down this road before, she said. You shouldn't do this. Is this true, Chloe? Yes. It was her idea. But she didn't force me. I agreed to go with her. Well, Rachel, I must confess I'm disappointed. You've been nothing but a model student so far. But the fact that this is your first offense in no way lessens its severity. And Chloe, your complete lack of remorse or regard for your actions does not instill me with hope that this will not happen again, even though in this instance it was not your idea from the onset. Rachel, as punishment for your actions, you will not be participating in tonight's production of The Tempest, nor will you participate in any other Blackwell Theater production for the remainder of your time at this academy. Oh. Uh, what the fuck? And Chloe, you are expelled. Effective immediately. Uh, uh, Principal Wells, those two punishments seem gravely disproportionate. Chloe has had myriad opportunities to prove that she wants to be a member of the Blackwell community, but she has failed to do so. Rachel is, is the district attorney's daughter. That has nothing to do with my decision. Bullshit! If that will be all, Principal Wells? Yes, it will. You're all dismissed. You'll be home tonight? <sighs> Is David gonna be there? Yes. Then no. Uh, I guess I won't. Text me. I need to know where you are. I need to know you're safe. I love you, Chloe. Never forget that. I haven't.
Rachel, I'm so sorry. Don't be. That's why we have understudies, I guess. Victoria will be fine. That bitch got nothing on you. <laughs> you think? Do you want to still go to the show? We could throw tomatoes. I'd love to. <sighs> I've really got to get home. I need some rest before tonight. Do you want to join me? I'm sure I could use some cuddles in these trying times. I would, but I have an errand I need to run before I can leave campus. That sounds deliciously suspicious. Have fun. I will, believe me. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Very. Less than 24 hours. What's up? I was looking for Drew. Oh, why? I wanted to talk to him about stuff. Stuff? Stuff as in drug stuff? Maybe. <laughs> Figures. He should be home any minute now. Just make yourself comfortable. So, you're living in Drew's room then? Yep. Ever since Dad lost the house, it makes more sense than both of us paying for housing. Besides, we're close. And he tells you about the drug stuff? Yeah. Like I said, we're close. I may not agree with all of Drew's choices, but he's my big brother. He may act tough, but... Everybody needs somebody. Shit. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, Ugh, never mind. Mikey, we gotta go now. Drew, what's wrong? Drew, it's Damon. Oh, shit. What are we gonna do? I can fucking hear you in there. Open the goddamn door or I'm breaking it down. Just keep Mikey safe in me, okay? Are you insane? It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Andrew North. Oxy King of Blackwell. Shut voice, the no. fuck up. You owe me money, Drew. You know I can't have that. Business is down. Sales are slow. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen, boy. You're gonna give me my money right now, or I'm gonna beat you to death in this fucking hallway. Do you understand? You don't have to. Do you understand? Do you combo? I swear, I swear I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Mikey's in there, right? No. Yeah. Give me my fucking money, or Mikey's gonna be wearing a smile below the jawline. Who the fuck are you? There's your money. Frank sent me to collect. He said it was your idea. Sick fucking Francis. That wasn't my idea. This was my idea. No one steals from me. Pull that shit again, and I'll kill you and everyone you hold dear. Congratulations, kid. You just saved that punk's life. We needed that money. I just gave Damon a box of post-it notes. I suggest you get where you're going, and fast. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, Drew. I'm okay. What do you need the money for anyway? We're getting the hell out of this town. Between the Prescott's and Damon Merrick, it's just getting too damn crowded for the both of us. And our dad's waiting on us too. What if Damon goes after you guys? He likes to play like Scarface, but he's just a small town drug dealer. He'll be no trouble once we cross state lines. Are you sure? Yeah, but you, you should stay low for a bit. 
Once Damien finds out what you did to him, he'll be after you hard. I can handle myself. Don't worry. Hey, if you see Nathan Prescott around, let him know I'm sorry. That guy that did that stuff to him, that wasn't me. I'll do that. Chloe, can we talk? Please? Fine. Look, Chloe, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a father to you, to be a partner to your mom, to be a good man. Well, you're failing. Are we done? I should never have laid a hand on you. That was out of line. You think so? Yes, I do. When I was a boy, my dad would beat the hell out of me if I so much as looked at him wrong. He taught me that to be a man was to be... Violent? In a manner of speaking, yeah. That you had to be hard to be a man. So I joined the military. I did two tours in Iraq. I saw things you can't imagine. I did things that... I don't sleep nights, Chloe. I take pills just to relax. <laughs> I jump when a goddamn door slams too loud. I see danger everywhere. And when I see you going around acting like you're invincible, it terrifies me. You don't have to like it, but I care about you. I do. I don't like you. Hell, I don't even understand you. But the thought of losing you? Really losing you? I can't stand it. I hate that you love my mom, David. I hate that she loves you too. I hate that you want me to get over my dad's death. And in some weird way, you want to be my dad? I hate what you represent. But I don't hate you. Not really. Because you make my mom happy. And that's all I've ever wanted for her. So, are we okay then? No. But we never really were. I have to go pack. I'm staying at Rachel's for a while. But your mother? She'll be fine. She has you now. She doesn't need me. You can't stop me, David. Let me go before she gets home from work. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Is there anything you'd like me to tell her? Nothing I'd want her to hear from you.
Hey Chloe. This is Max. I guess I just wanted to leave you one more message. Because I know this was the absolute worst time for me to go. I thought maybe if you heard my voice, it would be a little bit like I was there. I don't know, maybe this was a dumb idea. I would give anything to be there with you now. It's so hard trying to say what I'm thinking. If I could just see you? But we'll get good at this. Great at it. We'll write, and we'll call each other, and then I'll come visit you and it'll be like I never left. I mean it, you don't have to worry about anything changing. You're dealing with so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Chloe, listen, even if I never... Even if we're moving for good, we're always together, okay? Even when we're apart, we're still Max and Chloe. And I'll always love you. Please don't forget about me. Oh, I miss you, Max. Steph! That was my fave stage manager. Currently, trying to be anything but pants pissing me nervous. <laughs> what? You have nothing to be nervous about. You have this all under control. Steph? Steph! Oh god, I'm sorry, it's so awful. Dana, breathe. <laughs> What's awful? I tore the costume for act two. Bring me my sewing kit, okay? Okay. Maybe I am good at this. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I heard what you did for Mikey and Drew. You're a fucking hero, Chloe. Anyone would have done that. No, they wouldn't. You probably saved Drew's life. You've got heart, Chloe Price. Do you know where they went, Mikey and Drew? Washington, I think. For now. I'll probably visit them over the summer. Mikey and I have a campaign to finish <laughs> after all. Right, right. You think I could backstage? Rachel's uh, helping Victoria with her lines, and I've been sent to rescue her. <laughs> Good luck. Victoria's a wreck. You'll find them in the women's restroom. They're using it as a changing room. If you can get Rachel on that stage instead of Victoria, I will name my firstborn child after you. I'll see what I can do. Although, your future wife might object to that. <laughs> well, that sounds like her problem. <laughs> Hey, Samantha, what are you doing? I do not go out there. Nobody respects me. They'll all laugh. This morning you insisted on Yeah, well, this morning I was being stupid. Stupid? Let me give you some advice. I don't want your fucking... Your advice, okay? It's time to start doing things my way, all right? I don't need your help anymore. Now are you living up to your name? What? <laughs> Our Prescott takes what he wants, Nathan. He doesn't need anyone. I've been trying so hard to teach you that. It seems like you're finally learning. I'm proud of you, son. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Prescott, I'll get the door for you. Well, that was fucking creepy. I should go talk to him. What? To Nathan? Are you serious? He's a nutcase, Samantha. It's an awful thing to say. Yeah, maybe, but it's true, and you know it. Did you hear him? 
Seems like he's doing perfectly fine on his own. I think I know him better than you do, Chloe. Okay. Just be careful. Nathan! Uh, hey, Sam. Uh, I just came to say hi and good luck. Oh, well, I'm glad you stopped by. You know, um, there's no one else in here. If you want to come in, you can. Oh, I shouldn't. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I invited you. You're not really going to blow me off, right? Come on. Um, all right. This is so much bullshit! Victoria. I can't even understand half of this nonsense. Victoria. I can help you if you work with me, but you need to calm down. Guess someone should have been more careful for what they wished for, huh? The fuck is that supposed to mean, Carly? T Chloe. I only mean that yesterday you would have given your right breast implant for this role. Why are you complaining now? I do not have... Okay, I see your point. Why, oh why, was I blessed with such incredible theatrical instincts? Yet no memory with which to hold my lines. Oh, indeed. Such a tragedy is worthy of the bard himself. Who? Jesus. Victoria. It's not too late to fix this. What do you mean? You want to be popular, right? The queen bitch of Blackwell? More than anything. Yeah? Well, if you go out there and bomb, you will never recover. You hear me? Never. There will be videos, Victoria. YouTube videos. You will forever be known as a girl who sucked ass as... Uh, whatever your character is. Prosper. That's what I'm afraid of. Listen, Vicky. It's Victoria. Jesus, I can't even get my name right. How are you supposed to motivate me? Victoria. Let Rachel do the part. Who cares if she does better than you? She's still just a theater nerd. But your reputation would be untarnished. You don't really want to risk this, do you? It's for the greater good. The school needs a queen. It needs you. Okay, I'll do it. For the school. Now get out of here so I can take off this god-awful costume. I don't want to boast, so you can do it for me. You are brilliant. I know. <sighs> you asshole. <laughs> oh, look at young love. And in these trying times. Mm -hmm. Miss Keaton, I have great news. Yes, my darling. I can play my role tonight. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But we have a bit of an issue. Circumstances have tainted things a bit. Issue? Yes, our beloved Juliet. She's waylaid in traffic because of that infernal inferno. And now, she will miss her entrance. Wait, isn't Juliet in a different Shakespeare play? <laughs> no, uh, Juliet Watson. She plays Ariel. Uh, what about her understudy? Well, alas, I'm sorry. We've fallen to the same fate with her as well. She's on the highway, and the problem we have now, ladies, there is an audience out there, and they're filling up right now. Chloe could do it. <laughs> what? Oh, that would be absolutely transcendent. The two of you, the dynamic, it would be transcendent. Uh -huh. I'm going to cut you off right there. There's no way in hell I'm going out there. I don't even know the lines, and I am definitely not an actress. Oh, <laughs> really? I watch you act tough at school every day. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. Oh, my farewell, little friend. What if I suggested to you that the fate of this entire production rests on your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Oh, Chloe. Trip you. Damn it. All right, all right, you can do this. Totally do this, it'll be fine, no big deal. Is it talking to yourself? Uh -huh. Well, how do I look, uh, uh, my most noble companion? You look gorgeous. 
You don't look so bad yourself. <sighs> Are you ready to bail after this? Hell yeah. Figure we can walk to the highway and then hitchhike our way to LA from there. It really can't be that hard. Agreed. I really have to get ready for my entrance. Do you need any help with your lines? Uh, no, I, I think I'm okay. Just don't be mad if I fuck it all up. I could never be mad at you. Break a leg, Chloe Price. Uh, yeah, you too. Nathan, are you still in there? Five minutes till showtime. Uh, on my way! Well, it sounds like you better be heading to the stage. <laughs> Promise you'll consider my offer? Yeah, I just... I've never posed before. Come on. Most girls would kill to do something like this, right? It'd be fun. Just... You, me, the camera. I'll think about it, okay? So what is there even to think about? It's yes or no, Samantha. I just... I... Yes or no, Samantha. No! Fine. Get out. I don't need you bothering me anymore. Nathan, please, let me help you! I don't need your help. Ow, let me go! I don't need anything from you. Got it? Nothing! Okay? I don't want to see you again. No, don't come near me. Nathan. Please, just... Fuck off! By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to this shore. Are you ready, darling? Because you know you're on in 30 seconds. I'm gonna hit this out of the fucking park. Oh, I have no doubt you will. Here cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Oh, that's you. Oh, fuck me. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest as I bade thee? I... I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of the sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his most bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Not a soul. The king's son Ferdinand was the first to leap from his ship and cry, Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. But are they, Ariel? safe? Not a hair perished, and as thou baddest me, I dispersed them about the isle, and troops. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remind thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I cannot grant. Uh, uh, but thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said to thee how dearly I hold thee. Mrs. Keaton, she just went off script. It looks, um, deliberate. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. My most loyal spirit companion and friend, 
Is acting in my service not replete with amusement, excitement, and delight? Of course. Mistress, most truly it is so. Then why, I pray thee, dost thou wish to leave? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still care for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp, I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy alone would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands, most faithful friend. Let this be my most solemn vow. Together we'll fly beyond these isles. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name liberty's forgot. What sayst thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! <laughs> yes. I am most pleased. Now, thy duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I have work to do. Hello? Hey, how can I help you? I saw your performance with Rachel. It was something. Yeah, she's something. You know who I am, I imagine? I do. I'm sure James has told you and Rachel all about me. Yeah, he said some stuff. A lot of it was very... Disturbing? I was gonna say condescending, but yeah, that too. Look, if you want to talk to Rachel, I won't stop you. I would love that more than anything in the whole world, but I can't. What? Why? You wouldn't understand. Sarah, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. After all these years, you chose James Amber's money over your own daughter? Why? I thought I wanted freedom, Chloe. Freedom for myself. Freedom from myself. I received neither, of course. Addiction is like oblivion, inescapable, infinite horribly comforting. I was lost in it for so long, I thought I'd never see the light again. James' money was a means to an end. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Don't be. I'm all right now. Really, I am. And I'll see Rachel soon enough, but now is not the time. That's why I need you to tell her something for me. Can you do that? Why don't you ask? Can you do that? Okay. I'm sorry, Chloe. I don't have much time. I need you to tell her. I need you to tell her that she's my whole world and that she always has been. That even in my darkest moments, it was thinking of her that lifted me up. I need you to tell her that even though she's never met me, I love her more than my whole life. You'll tell her these things? Sarah, are you in trouble? Oh, no, not in the slightest. But I can't stay here any longer. Maybe we can help you, Rachel and I. No, no, under no circumstances should she continue to look for me. Do you understand? Uh, just tell her, tell her that I was high and that I didn't stay. She'll believe that. Sarah. I can't stay here anymore. I'm out of time. <sighs> Goodbye, Chloe. And thank you. Treat her well. Cherish her for me. I wish like hell that I had. No, it's gonna be so much fun though. We're gonna get out of here. Uh, hey, co-star. How's fame and fortune? Uh. 
it's great. Um, Rachel, can we go? I'm feeling a little antsy. Of course. Um, we'll see you later, guys. I'll text you when we get where we're going. Good luck. Bye, Rachel. Later, Chloe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stash a bag? Uh, yeah. You've never run away from home, have you? No, I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah, me either. Chloe, what's wrong? Are you having second thoughts? Uh, what? No. Uh, about this? Fuck no. Uh, I'm just thinking about, uh, other stuff. What is that? I don't know if you want to know. Chloe, you can tell me anything. After the play, I... What the fuck? What? Hey, Frank, what are you... People. That's not what we do. What do you mean? I mean, come on. I saw what you were hiding underneath that fucking tarp, you goddamn piece of shit. Stand down, Frank. Or what? What will you do? Shut the fuck up. Oh, I'm untying them. This is fucked. I'm no artist, it's a hobby. But uh, it's been a pleasure adding you to my collection. <coughs> Relax, he's not dead. I didn't hit anything vital. He'll live, maybe. <coughs> Scream all you want, honey. No one's gonna hear you out here. You smell that? Smoke. The fire's a ways off, I think. Shit, we could all burn out here. The four of us? Wouldn't that be fucking sexy? Oh dear. This is quite the little situation, isn't it? How do you plan to get us out of this one? Don't look at me. I'm just the personification of your deep-set abandonment issues. With a little touch of concussion. Hey! Hey! Don't go passing out on me now. We have a lot to talk about. You got some spunk in you. No, how come when a girl hits me, it's okay, but when I hit a girl, it's... Unfair. Seems bullshit. <laughs> that, that felt good. That was vindicating. And you're not gonna go doing nothing like that again now, are you? Because if you do, you're gonna have to cut your friend over there's nose off. <laughs> You're gonna answer my questions. And if you
you yell again, I'm gonna have to cut you. And I don't want to have to do that yet. Rachel! Rachel! Rachel, wake oh, up! Please! So, sorry about that now. She is one hell of a fighter. She would not go down easy. Luckily, Frank's got some chemical solutions lying around. It, it's just a mild tranquilizer. But apparently, she's a lightweight. You fucker! <laughs> now, I've gotten plenty of these while you were passed out. I want at least one while you're awake. And your face is still recognizable. Smile, okay? Perfect. Now, here comes the part where I ask you questions and you answer them or else I cut bits of you off and feed them to my dogs. First question, where is my fucking money? I spent it already. On what? Plane tickets. <laughs> Kid, the key to lying is not to lie about something I already know the answer to. You kept the fucking money and gave it to Drew. I put a track on his phone. He and his family have left Arcadia Bay. And now, I have to go after them after I fucking kill you and your comatose friend right here. Don't fucking cry. You're just wasting your energy. You're gonna need that shit. Next question. Who the fuck is she? She's just a friend. Just a friend? Come on now. I'm pretty sure I heard you call her Rachel. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is Rachel Amber. The DA's daughter? Answer me, bitch. Yeah. I'll be fucking fucked. <laughs> I have the DA's daughter and her fucking girlfriend? This is turning out to be a great day. You know, this almost makes up for the money you stole from me. So what? You're gonna demand ransom for us then? <laughs> no. I've got loads of cash. Fuck, no, I'm just gonna kill both of you in some uh. fucked up way take pictures of it and send it off to James Amber as a message not to fuck with me. <laughs> Little Rachel Amber doesn't know her daddy is corrupt as fuck. You see, this is a burner. People in my line of business use this uh, to communicate with our specific clientele. This phone only has one number on it. Can you guess whose number it is? Oh, yeah. Here. Uh, I'll prove it. Merrick, you answer when I call you. I want to know if the job's done. You said that she'd be gone today. But now my daughter's asking questions and I don't have answers to them. And it's only a matter of time, so I want you to call me. So, had to be out here in the middle of nowhere, huh? Can't Why is... Right. Because we can't be in town. Right? Yes. You picked this darn isolated spot, I'm gonna tell you. All right, it's Did good to see you. It's good to see you. I know it's been a long time, and I know you're here to see our daughter. Yeah. But Can that I? Is something, that is something what? that will never happen. Listen to me. You will never, ever see her. You will leave, and you will not come back. I do not want you to screw around here. I want you to get your ass out of here, or things are going to get really, really, really nasty. Oh. Okay, listen. Oh, my God. Do not fuck with me. You're as beautiful as ever. Oh. Goodbye. What? Oh, my God. The white knight of Arcadia Bay wanted his baby mama laid low. Now how's that for a fucking headline? So Sarah was running from you. For a while, anyway. What does that mean? No, I'm done talking. I want to waste you before your girlfriend wakes up. I have big plans for her. No, no, please, I don't want to die. Kid, haven't you learned anything yet? Everybody dies. Close your eyes, Chloe. I'm right here. Damon. You're not gonna hurt them. Is that so? Put the knife down. You need help. I need help. You're the one who needs help. You think you're gonna shoot me? I know you, Bowers. You got the fucking balls. No, I think we're just about done. Fucking. <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch.
Rachel. She's all right. She's in the van. I told her what all happened. She's resting now, I think. Anyway, Pompadour was taking care of her. Pompadour? Yeah. I got a dog. A puppy, actually. Damon was gonna use it as a bait dog. But I rescued her. What the fuck is between you and Damon anyway? We enlisted. Right out of high school. I didn't want to kill anybody. Field medic. But Damon, he just kept going back and back and back. Some guys find the worst parts of themselves when they're over there. Some, they leave the best parts behind. Damon, he's just too far gone. I thought I could change him. I guess I was wrong. Can I see Rachel now, please? Yeah. But first, I gotta show you something. Come with me. for this. Brace yourself. Sarah. From the looks of it, she must have been dead for a day. Maybe longer. A day? Yeah. I never thought you'd be capable of anything like this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We can't tell her about this. What? Rachel? We can't tell Rachel about this. We have to. We have to tell someone. No. We don't. The fire outside. It'll get here. Eventually. Let it. Let it burn it all down. And Damon? Leave him here too. I'd like to bury him. And your friend too. Be my guest. I'd help you, but... Don't worry. I got this. It's gonna be about two hours before the fire reaches us. And get us out of here in one. Do what you have to do. Can I see Rachel now? Please. Yeah. Let's go. This is Pompadour. I'm pretty sure he's my new best friend. What did Frank tell you? Enough. That you did a good thing for Drew and Mikey. And that you got punished for it. And that the guy that did this to us is dead. Chloe, I have a confession. Yeah. I'm not ready to leave Arcadia Bay. After everything that's happened to us, I need my home for a while. And my mother, my real mother, if there's even a chance that she's still here. Rachel.
I love you. I love you too. Hello, my budding stars. <laughs> How was the cast party? It was uh, hella lame, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. Perhaps some blueberry pancakes would help raise your spirits? It would be a start. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Hey, Rachel, would you mind helping me set the table? Mm -hmm. I can do that. <laughs> Good morning, Chloe. Happy to be alive, Mr. Amber. Your mother called. She asked if you would be willing to come home after breakfast, of course. Yeah, sure. Mr. Amber? I just want to say, you must love your daughter a whole lot to do the things that you've done. And now that I know what you've done, I can only hope you can live with yourself. We all make difficult decisions regarding the ones we love. On that, we can agree. Are you even real? I'm not sure, kiddo. What do you think? When I talked to Sarah, it was like she was in the room with me. But when I talk to you, it feels like I'm talking to myself. I don't know any more than you do, kiddo. Come here. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Don't, don't leave me. Never.
Rachel. Can we hurry up? Oh, don't touch it. Oh my god, I want to wash it out. If you wash it out now, you're going to screw it all up. So what? Who cares? It's my head. All right. Fine. Are you ready? <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Three, two, one. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, uh, hella yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think that you should shower. And I think that I should join you. Uh, I'd dye you blue. It'll only take me five minutes. Fine. Plus the mustache is on. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, dear Max, I told you I'd fucking do it. Hey, is this uh, Rachel Lambert? Yeah. Is this Nathan Prescott? Yeah. You'll have to excuse me. I got your number from a friend. I uh, don't really ever see you at school, so I didn't want to. I'm rambling. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. What's up? I heard through the grapevine that you and that girl you're always hanging out with uh, could do with a little bit of cash. Am I right? Yeah. What of it? Well, I'm, I'm working on a project. Sort of a, a conceptual thing, and I'm, I'm looking for models. I know you've done a lot of work with the photography students at Blackwell, so... I figured naturally you'd be into this sort of thing. There is one... One big rule, though. And it's kind of important. What's that? Can't tell anyone. Not even your girlfriend. It'll destroy the entire purpose of the project. I don't know if I'm super comfortable with that. I'll give you $500. You know I'm good for it. And if this thing takes off, I'll even let you in on a cut of the rest. This could change your life, Rachel. Do you want to pass this up? Um, I'm interested. I'll think about it, all right? Awesome. Can't wait to hear back from you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Rachel. Yeah, bye. Well, how do I look? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Look what I found. Holy shit. You ready to go? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Pull the trigger. <laughs> it's got a hell of a kick to it. And I missed. Don't be a pussy. Give me the bitch. See, all you gotta do is picture everything you want, everything you desire. The only thing standing between you and that is the fucking bottle down there. When you aim, aim for that, not the bottle. And all you have to do... Cool. Fuck yeah, it is. You gotta relax, kid. Well, how do you relax? Photography. I, I take photos of women. Like, nude women? Sometimes, sure. What I do is I, I get them drunk or, or high. They're happy, they're in a good place, and then I just pull the rug right out from under them. You gotta get them in that moment. When all the bullshit's stripped away, then you'll see who they really are. You ever thought about doing something like that, kid? Yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> then be a man and shoot that fucking bottle. Go out and claim what's yours. Those people out there, they don't know who you are. They don't know who they're fucking with. Show them. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all. <laughs>